So usually we are doing content about Vienna, but Vienna is too cold and not as colorful as it normally is. Why don't I take you to a completely different place? Let's go. Welcome to Nairobi's populous Kayole estate. In our previous video, you found out the strength about Kayole. In today's video, we'll walk you inside a supermarket in Nairobi's Kayole estate, where business is not as usual, and the products and services, well, you've never seen elsewhere in the world before. Premium quality. Very nice. This is quite interesting. I've never seen so many eggs in a basket. Milk dispenser. To Najari, we can understand because Kule Ulaya, Atuna is a little. I start operating my machine. Yes. It's not so difficult, but, uh, but people need help. Here, the alcohol is hidden. <laughs> Surely Kenyans. And alcohol has to be locked up like here. You see? This is a Kenyan wine. It's called a lesson. It's like the best cider on earth. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's only this stuff. It goes to, to the nose and goes through your eyes and the hair. Go to M Pesa, go to Lipa and M Pesa. If that sounds interesting, then let's go to Shujamo, where the Clean Shelf Supermarket is located. So we actually are going to go into one of the malls here. So we are going to this um, supermarket. I'm right here in Kayole Shijamon and I just want to take you inside to see how it is to shop in this lovely supermarket here. <laughs> First of all, I have to get checked. Thanks. And then there is a place to kupi manini. Okay, fine. So, this is a supermarket that we are going to go inside. You have to take your temperature here I'll go here take temperature I look good and then I have to clean my hands and then I will just go in so let's go in as you walk inside you're greeted with a plethora of snacks and delicious food this is a Kenyan snack. If you ever made samosa, then you might know these are the pastry pieces that are left over after the wrap. We call them ngongo after the crunchy sound they make when chilled. The next is what we call kienyeji food or the Kenyan traditional buffet. That's the Kenyan sausage locally known as motura. It goes perfectly with fried onions, sandwiched in bread, or better still, with ugali. This here is pilau. There is some sauces and then well, we go to this section <laughs> this here is uh, arrowroot actually it has been very difficult for me to find arrowroot elsewhere in the world wow what is this garlic some spices cardamom, cinnamon, premium quality, very nice. This here is uh, rice, this is uh, basmati rice, it's very good for making biryani. This is pishori actually, I've not been able to find pishori elsewhere in the world. This is a Kenyan rice. It's, it has a really good aroma. I got this. <laughs> I would like you to taste it. And uh, that there is the black beans. The black beans are very, very healthy. I don't know what they are called. We call them jahe. 
but uh, pregnant pregnant women usually are given this after they give birth just to regain their energy black i don't know what they are called black beans and that there is um, brown rice this is maize that has been removed uh, the cover the bran if you can see it it's not focusing and then we have different beans this maize here it's white maize this is the one that gets uh, ugali it's dry maize and so when you grind it it forms a powder you can make ugali with that yeah then of course there are all these types of beans these are for popcorn <laughs> some seeds here more seeds what is this is this this is a this is a this is peanut but it's in the family of beans yeah beans this is what sorghum you asked me what is sorghum this is sorghum in jars. Yeah, you, you have to, it's called what, to grind it, to make it into paste. And then you can make porridge out of it. Here is um, hummus, it's called chicken peel. And then I told you this is, uh, uh, ah, these are soya beans. I thought it's uh, senzo, I don't know what they are called, pigeon peas. This is cassava. It's already peeled. Mm -hmm. And I think it's dried. This is dry cassava. So it's so easy to make uh, powder from this. You can make powder. This is millet. I told you about millet, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is how it looks. And you can also grind it into powder. It makes uh, ugali, brown ugali. You can make uh, porridge. It's really good for kids. Oats, yeah? The brown rice yeah these black beans are very healthy and they're so good with chapati when you fry them with the tomatoes and onions these ones we know them these ones you can find them easily out there cowpeas yeah this is I was going to say this is the African corner, but we are in Africa. Hello. Because we are looking at the, can you call this traditional? Traditional, uh, especially because we have the sorghum there. The cassava. The cassava is dry, yeah? Yes, And you grind it for something like that? Then you take it to the portion. You can combine the three, the cassava, the fingernail, and the soda. To make a uh, porridge or? Porridge. Yeah, you can use it for ugali. Ugali. Yeah. Yeah. ugali. ugali, yeah. We're going to try that traditional ugali. They normally mix. It's very stretchy. stretchy. I know it. And healthy. But very healthy. But what's the difference between this? Uh, this one looks shiny and that one is like this, matte. This one is dull. It's this what? one is shiny. Uh -huh. This one, the, the outer covering is coated. It's, it's coated? Nylon one, yeah. uh -huh. With what? No, it's, it's nature. It's just natural. It's wow. Natural, yeah. But if you compare the sweetness, yeah, this, this is one is better, sweet. Yes. This, yeah. yeah, delicious. Yeah, I know. It, it's kind of powdery. Yeah, yeah. It is very good. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we are not going to buy because we are only visiting. Okay. Yeah. But I wanted to show him all these things that we have here. They are coming from farms, you know, just around my uh, outskirts of Nairobi in the villages around. Here, yeah. Asante. Asante. Mm. So, the milk carrier. I wanted to show you this milk dispenser. So we have ATM. Here you come with your own container or you can buy, you can get from here. So do we get? Let's get. Sasa? Tunaza chukua hii, yama? Yeah, so it's 15 bob. Tako ni hivya biyashara. Ha? Tako ni hivya biyashara. Nina kuhivya biyashara? Aje? 
Azini unachukua vitu pia ufungue hapo. Nifungue yangu, nataka kwenda pale. Nataka kwenda pale ninunue maziwa. Ya? Siwezi kukuibia biashara. Ni tunajaribu ku understand because kule Ulaya hatuna hizi vitu. Eh. Hii ni technology iko tu hapa Kenya. So this is yeah with this machines like ATM for milk. So hii machine hii maziwa ni fresh, si ndio? This is fresh milk from the farmers. Or it's from it's actually from the farm because it's not Yeah, it's from farm it's not branded. Okay, and it's which which farms do you know? Which area? We have Kimango and the fresh. Aha. Okay, so now how much milk do we go for? Maybe 500, yeah. Half a liter, yeah. Half a liter. Yeah. So show us how do we do it, because we don't know. <laughs> so first of all, you wash it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And then go to the milk machine ATM. <laughs> I start operating my machine. What? What? I start operating my machine. Yes. So this is half liter will be that five shillings. Uh -huh, half a liter. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, ah, okay. It just flows in. Sorry. It just goes in. It goes the out. milk just flows in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And so are you the one who's helping to operate or someone can just come and operate it themselves? I'm the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Unless, unless I teach you. Okay. Uh, it's not so difficult, but... Uh, but people need help a lot. Yeah. Very nice. And do you have, I think you, do you have these machines outside elsewhere? Outside? Yeah. Which belongs to us? Yeah, like uh, machines, like just outside in the streets. Yes. Okay. Yeah, some people have it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not yet uh, bigger, bigger than this. Yeah. They just use a. a okay. A okay. Hmm. So this milk is ready to drink, or we have to boil it before drinking. It's ready to drink. It's ready to drink. Wow. Pasteurized milk. It's pasteurized, but it's not homogenized. Yeah. Super. This is good. This is healthy milk. Real milk. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Asante. So let's, um, so I talked about this is a Kenyan snack. This is a Kenyan snack. I had this since I was a child. It's just pastry that is very thin for samosa. And whatever remains behind the chef will just cook it in oil. Yes. It's a bread area. I'm quite interested in this so many eggs here. So this is this one here, yes. Daima. Yes. You can go for this, yes. but we want some one that is closed. Yes. The fridge is not too cold. I hope that's not a bad thing. And this one. It's actually not cold. Okay, so so all this is fresh milk and it is this one is pasteurized and is homogenized but it's fresh fresh from the farm this is quite interesting i've never seen so many eggs in a basket <laughs> so here you can just pick the eggs you want should we get some eggs yes Hapa ni tunachukua mai ama kuna ndaje? Hapa ni kununua. Ile unataka. Na ni nini ni ni kienyeji ama? Ah this is kienyeji and hii hii ni kienyeji pia. Hii ni broiler. Ah hii ni broiler. Tunataka kienyeji. Kienyeji. Aha these are the chicken that are running around. Yeah yeah. Aha. This is the one we want. Mhm. Sawa sawa. Asante. Na mnazitoa kwa farm gani? Hizi. Eh. Hii kwa Okay, okay. Sawa, sawa. Asante. Hmm. Yes. I wonder. I really wonder if I should be eating more bread. Yes, two minutes. Fasting.
they are baking this bread here. I just saw the place where they are baking. Whole bread. Maybe I should take this whole bread. I think we, we, we have done enough shopping. Hmm? We have done enough shopping. So now let's go upstairs and see what's there. The wine um, and alcohol has to be locked up like here. You see? And uh, only if you're over 18, you can get inside. This is a non-alcoholic wine. It's alcohol free. I used to have this a lot when I started just working. I would just have this at home. So it has, it's outside because it's non-alcoholic. Yeah, so I, wanna see, I want you to see the Kenyan, the Kenyan wine. Hopefully they have it. This is a Luka area. So, let's see if they have a Kenyan wine. It's called the Lesha. Yes, my shirts. This is a Kenyan wine. It's called the Lesha. Sauvignon Blanc. This is South African. Look at this. Yeah, it's Mara Nyeupe. It's made in Kenya. Yeah. Mm. So this one we can buy and gift it to someone. Yeah. But we cannot be allowed to transport. It is complicated. And so this is non-alcoholic. Always non-alcoholic. It's a sparkling wine. And it's actually really good. For many non-alcoholic drinks, it's debatable whether it's good or not. And so I don't know if uh, in Austria we have uh, wine that is in such packets, but here we do. Yes. We will, we will have that. It gives you a headache as hell. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, I think it's exported or it's imported, so. And these are the beers. Tusca, white cup is also Kenyan. Mainly it's drunk by the old Kukuyu men. And I see this one called Balozi. Balozi is, uh, it means um, ambassador. Mm. Tusca cider is actually really good. You remember Tusca cider? It's like the best cider on earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't really want to have any alcohol. Hmm? Yeah, we pay here. Okay, so. Stony. You have to taste it to believe it. There is nothing like this stone in the world. Yes. Yeah. There is no such like this anywhere. It's only in East Africa. Tanzania and Kenya. I don't know about Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get it. It's, it's non-alcoholic, actually. It's like a ginger ale that is full of ginger to death. Like, okay. it goes to, to the nose and goes through your eyes and the hair. Stands. <laughs> okay, we'll pay here and then we'll go down and show you. That. So, this is upstairs, it has all sorts of uh, stuff that you can imagine. Even there are chairs, and you can just do your own starting the home, starting life. There is even hair. I had not seen hair. Let's look at this hair. <laughs> This looks good. And the texture is actually very nice. Hmm. Why is it option to 
in the crossroads. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> because it's supposed to be washed by the guy who is who's washing all these things. So here someone is spoiled for choice. I saw my mom had these shoes. And I asked her. Okay, let me talk. Oh, you can just buy cake here. This, I'm sure, is Black Forest. <laughs> Let's go to that food area. Let's go around and go to the food area. Here and go to the other side. This is my favorite one. I should actually buy it. Mm, this one. It's really good. This is a pomade. It's what they don't have out there in the world. You see, they have black magic. Oh, <laughs> Blue yeah, magic. Of Blue magic. I said black. It's, um, I think we bought ours for six euros. Mm -hmm. So it's half. It's half. So, huh? What I like about this uh, here, in, here is that you can be able to get treatment that is not so uh, it's not an so now here we are at the um, checkout and we want to kind of show you how you can shop I'm going to buy with M-Pesa. <laughs> <laughs> gotta try and show you how to buy with M-Pesa. We are trying not to film people who are shopping. They're here at the counter. One thing that you will not see out there is getting someone who's helping you. <laughs> like you're getting help to just place the stuff on the belts. Some very friendly guy is helping us. So we already paid for this. Yeah. And so we're gonna show you how we do it here. So he's right there with our shopping and he's going to help her. <laughs> How to wear masks correctly. <laughs> go to SIM, uh, Atuna, you go to M-Pesa, go to Lipa na M-Pesa, 
and then there's a pay bill. Wait, you went to pay bill. Goods and services. Goods and services or pay bill. Buy goods. Yeah. Buy goods. Buy goods. Yeah. So it asks for till number. Here goes the till number. So we just enter that here, and then amount. How much is it? Ninety-nine. Yes, and then okay. Should not show your pin. And then once that's done, you get uh, phone number. it shows you. Huh? Phone number. So you can see that the payment is done. Give me your phone number. Yes. So he's gonna get his phone number. Um, I have your phone number here. Yeah. Uh, so once he enters the phone number, the bill is paid and we get our receipts. And there is how you pay by Mpesa. That's okay. Danke. Thank you. <laughs> I said Danke. So, I'm in Bapi. Oh, okay. He really helped us. Yeah. yeah. Everything is here. He just packed everything for us. Everything and now we can go to the... Yeah, we have everything. Asante. And that's how you shop in a local supermarket, local mall here in... Um, Kayole, Chijamo. Okay. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that lovely episode and until next video choose Hidesen Kwaheri Next on this limited series we are calling Oalaub in Africa we're going to take you to Kenya's cultural heritage right here in the city of Nairobi